I know what you're thinking. I don't look like a divorcee. I mean, usually they're 35 with tight fitting dresses and high heel pat leather shoes and big boots. I look like the kid from the custody battle. It wasn't Jack's fault. It wasn't anybody's fault. It was just one of those terrible mistakes you make before you can stop yourself knowing it's a mistake while you're doing it. I really don't want to talk about him. No, I will talk about him. Sometimes in life, it's good for you to do something you don't want to do. It cleanses the insides. When I met him, he was terribly sweet and groovy looking but kind of adolescent, you know what I mean? I mean, girls mature faster than boys. Boys are neater, but girls mature faster. When we met, it was like, it was like fireworks. I don't know if I'm saying it right, but it was a marvelous passion that made every day feel like the 4th of July. Anyway, before I knew it, we were getting married. And I was still in high school. I had two exams the next day, which were on my mind. But then I heard the Justice of Peace saying, do you, Jack, take Jill to be your lawfully wedded wife? Ugh, can you imagine going through life as Jack and Jill? And then I heard him say, till death do you part. And suddenly it wasn't my wedding ceremony. It was a funeral service. And I hate anything that is morbid. But there I was being buried alive under Jack Benson. I wanted to run screaming out into the night, but I couldn't because it was 10 o'clock in the morning. So I fainted. I just wish that I passed out before saying I do.